welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra raghuveer deshpande from pune maharashtra state india would like to welcome you all in today's lecture of roga nidan and uh, that lecture is taking place on the 23rd please write down 23rd of october 2023 23rd of october this is the roga nidan vikruti vidyan lecture okay and last period of roga nidan we have started to discuss about the srotas this srotas concept is very very important not only for the roga nidana subject but this is also important for the kaya chikitsa subject for the final year bms whenever you, you are there in the final year bms each and every student must aware of this srotas concept and there are three things one has to remember that you can see on the screen srotas drushti hetu how why this srotas is damage is not uh, working properly it's working pathologically uh, that is called hetu means the causes etiological factor what is the reason why they are not working properly then drushti lakshana lakshana is a symptom just uh, please allow me to make this screen bigger so that yes here can you see drushti lakshana please attention on the cursor lakshana is a symptom sometimes it may be symptom sometime it may be sign s i g n now please start writing please open your notebook of roga nidan vikruti vidyan prepare the index serial number date today's topic and the page number also page number is very important so we can refer immediately whenever we want to refer anything now last lecture i have started the srotas concept and there i have completed pranavah srotas annavah srotas udakavah srotas that we have completed and from the dhatu i have also completed rasavah srotas okay so today we are again going to take four important srotas as raktavah srotas please write down today's topics रक्त व स्रोत दुष्टि हेतु दुष्टि लक्षण एंड विद्ध लक्षण विद्ध आई विल टेल यू आई विल जस्ट रिलैक्स आई नो फॉर द फर्स्ट फोर स्रोत आई हैड नॉट एबल टू प्रिपेयर द पीपीटीज बिकॉज ऑफ द लैक ऑफ टाइम काइंडली एक्सक्यूज मी बट इन दिस टाइम एंड इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई हैव प्रिपेयर द पीपीटीज फैंटास्टिक पीपीटीज ओके सो दैट इज रिगार्डिंग टूडे रक्त mouse med and asthi please write down rakta blood naturally blood mouse muscles med fat or adipose tissue rasa sorry rasa we have completed rakta mouse med and asthi osseous tissue or the bones of course this is just for understanding when you talk about ayurvedic concept better you should write down only ayurvedic only ayurvedic only ayurvedic no 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 writing of muscle bone in between no because many examiners they don't like this mixing this mixing they say you are undergraduate you don't know anything why you are comparing okay okay sir sorry sir finish okay now about srotas sir why srotas concept is important in the first year bms kriya sharira subject in the second year roga nidan vikruti vidyan in the final year kai chikitsa subject srotas is everywhere srotas is like a kh 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 k h a kh kh is akash akash mahabhut space hollow 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 lumen lumen all these are the understanding what is this srotas some people just for understanding they compare srotas and modern system for example pranavah srotas respiratory system annavah srotas digestive system sometime comparison can be done udakavah srotas water and electrolyte balance there is no system as such as such okay raktavah srotas cardiovascular system mausavah srotas musculoskeletal system some comparison can be made but for examination you don't write modern any word when you are talking about srotas 
Srotas, why important? They, how many srotas are in the body? How many hollow, 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 hollow spaces? First answer to the examination, innumerable. Innumerable. We cannot count, sir. We cannot count srotasa number. N number of srotasas. But, sir, for the practical purpose, for our general practice, our teacher, our college, our Charaka Sashrita, they say 13 are most important. 13, 1, 3. I have already told you the name. Pran an udak. Pran, comma, an, comma, udak. Vah srotasa. Then seven dhatus, ras, rakt, maus, met, asthi, majja, shukra, each having the srotas, ras, vah, srotas, rakt, vah, srotas. And last, mutra, purisha, sved, mutra, vah, srotas, purisha, vah, srotas, sved, vah, srotas. So these are 13, 1, 3 important srotasas. We should learn the shlokas by heart, most important shlokas for the whole of your life. If you are doing Ayurvedic practice, you must know this srotasa. I think this is very clear. Because whatever the our prakupita dosha, they attack. Where they attack? Khavaigunya. Where they find that there is a problem in this channel, attack. So these are the dusha, dhatu. Dusha, Mala, Dusha, Srotasa, Dusha. Whichever the elements, they are attacked by the Doshas. This side is called Dusha. So Dosha, Dusha, Dosha, Dusha. Samurchana, Janito, Vyadihi. When there is a bad amalgamation, bad union, that is called as a Vyadhi disease. Dosha, Dusha, Samurchana, Janito, Vyadhi. Important word. Now, you will say, sir, last time you have not taken Vidha Lakshana. Yes, I know. Sometime I will take. Or you can refer in your own purchased textbook of Rogadidar. Please, please. Because Dushti Hetu and Dushti Lakshana are from Charaka Samhita. Please write down. Charaka Samhita, Vimanasthana. That is Purvarga, first part. Vimanasthana. Please write down. Chapter 5 is most important. Charaka Samhita, Vimana, Sthana, chapter number 5, you will get all these shlokas. Okay? So, Charak has explained Dushti Hetu and Dushti Lakshana and Sushrut has mentioned Vidha Lakshana. So, Vidha Lakshana is by Sushrut. I think there is a printing mistake. Oh, excuse me, just excuse me. Excuse me, we will correct it. Why, why, why not correct? We should correct it, huh? Here I forgot the word L. Yes. Okay. So now this is I will save. That is also important not to save. Just wait. Just wait my dear friends. Okay. It is saved. So this is the Lakshan. Huh? L. I forgot to make L. Sorry. Sorry. So Dushti Hetu, Dushti Lakshan by Charak and Vidh Lakshana is by Sushrutu. This is should be very clear. Now let us start to discuss Rakta Vas Rutas. Rakta Vas Rutas Dushti Hetu. I am sorry, I think. Yes. Vidahi Annapanani Snigdh Ushnani. I will make a cursor. Huh? Vidahi Annapanani Snigdh Ushnani Dravani Cha Rakta Vahini Dushanti Bhajatam Cha Atap Analau. So all these words are explained further. One by one. But you have to remember these shlokas. Huh? Mandatory. All shlokas. 13 shlokas. 13 multiplied by 3. Minimum 40 shlokas. Step by step. Don't take tension. Don't take tension. If you don't remember, nothing. No problem. You will have to write down only these things. First is Vidahi Annapan. Irritating. Consumption of food and drinks like alcohol, which are causing Vidaha or burning sensation in the stomach, in the chest, vidahi. And also because of the irritating, you get a lot of thirst sensation, thirst. That anna is called as vidahi. If you take a lot of this vidahi anna, it will damage your blood. Blood will be impure. Raktavas rotas will be damaged. 
for example there is a bakery attempts we take breads many times this is a vida here yeah? remember if you eat lot and lot and lot and lot of bread then only it will cause single bread only once in a week it will not problem but every day if you start taking the bread that can can be problem eating these all this food stuff if you eat regularly frequently then that is a problem once in a while it is never problem pizza all the time burger chat attempts chat you know the chat masala pani puri masala gobi manchurian ha gobi manchurian water into the mouth so this is all vidai if you take excess and repeatedly and batter prepared from the black gram urid which is kept overnight or fermentation so this is called as a vidai next snick the bhojana consumption of food which is anxious in nature which will increase the snick the guna in the body thereby leading to the increase of pitta dosha because pitta dosha wants a very little fat very little because what is the properties of pitta dosha pittam sasneha tikshnoshtam lagu vistram saram dravam pittam sasneha little little snigdha if you lot of oil lot of oil fried food that is snigdha bhojana okay lead to the increase in the pitta dosha in the body and thereby leading to the abnormal increase or the problem with the rakta dhatu because pitta and rakta pitta and rakta ashriya ashri sambandha pitta problem rakta problem rakta problem pitta problem pitta rakta pitta rakta remember this thing okay very fatty substances especially deep fried food vada pav always huh? that is a bhaji always that is a problem next ushna bhojana consumption of food which are having ushna virya hot potency it is not a freshly cooked food hot food that is not ushna virya for example food prepared with sarshapa tail that is mustard oil or using the lot of lot of chilies that is called as ushna drava bhojana consumption of excessive fluids for example consumption of all the time lemon juice orange juice this will lead to the increase of drava guna and when lot of drava guna is increased that is also the pitta prakop remember because many students feel only ushna and tikshna is pitta prakop no again remember try to remember pitta dosha property pittam sasneha tikshna yes ushna lagu vistra sar drava 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 is a property of pitta lot of drava lot of drava pitta prakopa lot of ushna lot of tikshna pitta prakopa are you getting so drava is also the property samanya vishesha siddhant so ayurveda says when you are taking your food lunch and dinner remember i have already mentioned in the previous lectures four parts of stomach imagine 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 not cutting <laughs> four parts 50% ghana ahar 25% drav ahar 25% blank blank space akash why so why blank peristaltic moment vayu sancharana essential okay so this should be there if in spite of the 25% if you drink 75% in the your lunch and dinner pitta problem pitta problem okay so that is that thereby leading to the dushti of rakta when pitta problem rakta problem balance of solid and liquid food is lost just now i have explained next atapa sevan sandres atapa ha huh? expose your to the ultraviolet rays for longer duration some occupations are there like traffic policemen or farmers working in the hot atmosphere like working in the glass factory chemical factory working in the radiation rooms x ray rooms x ray technicians it is not directly atapa actually this uh, uh, these things that chemical factory this can you put it over here anal anala sevana anala analyze agni analyze agni or fire or hot so working in the hot atmosphere working in the sun is bad bad for pitta bad for rakta whenever bad for pitta bad for rakta also remember this thing okay next rakta vas rotas dushti lakshana 
वक्षंते रक्त प्रदोष कुष्ठ विसर्प पीड़का रक्त पित्तम असुरुदर वी आर वी आर सींग द ट्रांसलेशन गुद 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 एनर रिजन मेड्र पेनिस आस्य पाकश्च पाक इज इन्फ्लमेशन लिहा स्प्लेनोमेगेली गुल्म अथ विद्रदी नीलिका कामला व्यंग पिप्लुवस्तिलका दद्रु चर्मदल श्वित्र पामा कोष्ठ अस्त्र मंडलम रक्त प्रदोषात जायंते दिस श्लोक इज नॉट फ्रॉम विमान स्थान काइंडली एक्सक्यूज मी सम श्लोका एस्पेशली धातु प्रदोषज धातु प्रदोषोज प्लीज राइट डाउन धातु प्रदोषोज इज नॉट चरक विमान स्थान चरक सूत्रस्थान चैप्टर ट्वेंटी एट यू फर्गेट अबाउट श्लोक नंबर एंड इफ यू बाय चांस रिमेम्बर एनी श्लोका एनी रेफरन्स प्लीज प्लीज डोंट टेक टेन्शन सम ऑफ युअर टीचर सम ऑफ युअर फ्रेंड ऑलवेज फ्लैट एंड यू यू डोंट नो द श्लोक यू डोंट नो द श्लोक यू विल बी फेल यू विल बी फेल ना नथिंग नथिंग फॉर एक्झाम्पल इन दिस श्लोक आय विल आय विल गिव्ह द ट्रिक ट्रिक वक्षंते रक्त प्रदोष इफ आय रिमेंबर ओनली रक्त सॉरी कुष्ठ विसर्प पीडका ओनली दिस थिंग आय विल राईट डाऊन कुष्ठ विसर्प पीडका डॅश 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 ओके ओके नो प्रॉब्लेम इफ आय रिमेंबर चरक सूत्रस्थान ओनली चरक ओके इफ आय रिमेंबर चरक सूत्रस्थान ओनली नॉट ट्वेंटी एट ओके रिमेंबर रिमेंबर कॉन्फिडन्स इज मोर इम्पॉर्टंट अंडरस्टँडिंग इज मोर इम्पॉर्टंट नो फिअर नो फोबिया नो टेन्शन टेन्शन काय कुले ने का ओके लेटस सी द मिनिंग दीज आर ऑल मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स आर कुष्ठ इज अ स्किन डिसीजेस सो वेन एव्हर पित्ता प्रॉब्लेम वेन एव्हर रक्त प्रॉब्लेम यू विल गेट लॉट ऑफ स्किन प्रॉब्लेम कुष्ठ any type of skin disease in the government advertisements kushta is mentioned for leprosy but in ayurveda kushta is not only leprosy all skin diseases eczema psoriasis leucoderma fungal infection everything kushta okay visarp diseases of the skin which spreads rapidly like erysipelas herpes zoster nagin marathi madhe ami tala nagin man व्हेरी व्हेरी बर्निंग हा पिडका पिडका इज लाईक बॉईल और फरंकल हेअर फॉलिकल इन्फेक्शन अँड कार्बनकल इन डायबेटिक पेशंट कार्बनकल रक्तपित्त उर्ध्वग अधोग तिर्यक ब्लिडिंग फ्रॉम द नोज ब्लिडिंग फ्रॉम द माउथ ब्लिडिंग फ्रॉम द स्किन ब्लिडिंग फ्रॉम द युरिन ब्लिडिंग फ्रॉम द रेक्टम एव्हरीथिंग रक्तपित्त एक्सेस मेन्स्ट्रोल डिस्चार्ज रक्तपित्त कंपॅरिझन ओके असृक दर असृक असृक इज अ ब्लड असृक दर दॅट इज एक्सेसिव्ह मेन्स्ट्रुअल डिस्चार्ज इन द लेडीज इन द फिमेल्स देन मेड्र पाक मेड्र इज अ पेनिस सुपुरेशन ऑर इन्फ्लमेशन ऑन द पेनिस मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ द व्हिनरल डिसीजेस आस्य पाक इन्फ्लमेशन ऑफ द ओरल कॅव्हिटी पाक इज इन्फ्लमेशन ऑल्सो इट इज सुपुरेशन आय प्लीज राईट डाऊन प्लीज राईट डाऊन pak is better inflammation not suppuration every time pus will not be there suppuration is a pus but every time no pus so write down please write down pak is equal to i am i am going slow pak is equal to inflammation you know the inflammation red color pain rubor calor dolor huh? that is inflammation then asya pak gud pak gud gud anal region anorectal region inflammation pliha rog pliha is a spleen spleno megaly palpable spleen gul m that is chronic abdominal swelling or the tumor now let us go further vidradhi abscess pus nilika a type of the kshudra rog some spots are there kamala infective hepatitis or jaundice kamala yang a type of the skin lesion involving chicks in the women nearing to the menopause so there is a, some patches discoloration over here piplav that is multiple moles m o l e you know the mole a black color spots on the body mole many of the time it's a congenital birth mark 
so uh, in the old age this increases till a kalak dadru is again a cutaneous that means skin eruption dadru charmadala variant form of leprosy it's a type of leprosy charmadala then chitra white patches on the skin that is vitiligo pama a kind of skin disease which can be compared with the scabies coat skin disease with round red spots or impetigo or can be compared like urticaria skin problems and asru asra mandala reddish round eruptions so these are all the different types of the skin problems raktavasrotas vidh tatra vidhasya shavangata jwaro dah panduta shonita gamanam rakta netrata cha sushru charirusta all the vidh lakshana sushru charir sushruta sharir 9th chapter sushruta sharir 9th chapter shavangata shav is a black black discoloration of the injured body parts sushrut is a surgeon so he is always care of trauma injury accidents surgery all these problems jwara there is fever dah burning sensation panduta anemic condition hemoglobin is less shonit gamana that is bleeding either from the injured area or from other parts shonit is a blood rakta then rakta netrata netra are eyes red color of the eyes so this is uh, with the lakshana now we will go further mouse over srotas sroto mool what is sroto mool sroto mool is a prabhavasthana that means which has a great influence on that particular srotas very great influence effect effect of what either that particular organ can be manufacturing of that particular element or it can be the examination point of view that is important so there are the mulasthan has a great importance in controlling that particular system or srotas mausa vaha nam srotasam snayur mulam twaccha mausa vahe dve charak has explained all the srotas in pair no charak only one 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 so shrut always pair always pair mausa vaha srotas two charak mausa vaha srotas one are you getting the difference tayor moolam snayuru twacham rakta vahanyashta dhamanyaha as per charak the site of the origin of mouse over srotas is snayu that is ligaments and twak that is skin as per sushrut there are two maha uh, uh, mouse over srotas sites of origin are snayu that is ligaments twak skin and rakta vahamani that is blood vessels okay next how that muscular tissue or the muscles in our body can be get problem mouse over srotas dushti hetu hetu means causes abhishandhi nibhojjani thulani cha guruni cha mouse vahini dushanti bhuktva cha swapatam diva that means charak vimansta fifth chapter abhishandhi bhojana consumption of substances which increase kled kled is a waste product please write down write down clay the k l e d a clay is equal to clay is equal to watery west part watery west part created during tissue metabolism during tissue metabolism this clay the excessive clay the can block the channels blockages stroto rodh obstruction and then the problem so abhishandhi is a fermented products simple example is a curd curd south indian dishes masale dosa uttappa idli all these are the products from fermentation of rice fermentation in ayurveda fermentation is like abhishandhi which increase the secretions in the body and that will obstruct the channels there is one query is clay the related to the pus uh yes sometimes but you cannot say all the time clay the is equal to pus no for example in madhumeh ayurveda says there is a excessive clay the in the body excessive clay is not pus is a excessive waste products from the tissue metabolism are you getting my point similarly in the skin diseases ayurveda says clay the bahul is there in udara vyadi ascites clay the bahul lot of clay the 
but kleda sometimes can be called as a pus but not all the times this is very clear okay now stool bhojana consumption of substances which are stool in nature either due to the faulty preparation or due to the improper chewing if you are not properly chewing that is heavy for digestion stool bhojana preparation is wrong or the intake consumption is a faulty method so that is that becomes the stula bhojana next we will go further guru bhojana consumption of food which is heavy to digest for example black gram lot of sweets like jalebi water into the mouth huh? srikhand basundi rasagulla barfi laddu every sweet substance every fatty substance every oil deeply fried food it is heavy for digestion that is guru bhojana even by quantity if my lunch is over and at the end some my friends are uh, giving me force hey, hey, it 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 ice cream what what will happen nothing it ice cream two cups that is a problem that can be the guru bhojana okay then last is a diva swapna after bhojana sleeping in the day time after consumption of food is not recommended in ayurveda marathi madhe dupar chi jhop ghew shakat nahi fakt only summer season sleeping in the afternoon is allowed of course those who are the students those who are the serving people those who are having the business people mostly they get don't get the time to sleep in the uh, day time but yes housewife or the people who are working from home they some people have the habit to sleep in the afternoon but that is not okay because that can make a problem your musculoskeletal system you will start back ache leg pain cramps in the muscle stiffness of the muscle heaviness of the muscle all the muscle problems you will start okay dushti lakshana shrunu shrunu means here please hear please hear shrunu mausa pradosha jan adhimausar budam kil गलशालुक शिंडिके पुती मांस अलजी गंड गंडमाला उपजीविका तो दिस इज द लिस्ट नाउ हियर अधि मांस व्हाट इज दैट अधि मांस एक्सेसिव ग्रोथ ऑफ द मसल्स व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज अ हायपरट्रॉफी ऑफ द मसल हायपरट्रॉफी ऑफ इट मोर बिग एबनॉर्मली बिग इट इज नॉट वेट लिफ्टिंग और द बॉडी बिल्डिंग इट इज एबनॉर ओनली वन पार्ट समवेयर देयर इज अ स्वेलिंग दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम अर्बुद is like cancer tumor neoplasm killer a kind of tumor having the form of stick then galashaluk a tumor in the throat galashundika swelling in the uvula there is one uh, part in the mouth in marathi it is called the pad jib huh? so that particular uh, what you can say the part coming from the upper palate that is a uvula okay then puti mouth can be compared with the gangrene so all these problems can happen but in addition to that whatever i have mentioned that muscular pain the patient will start muscle pain he will start the cervical spondylosis or uh, uh, neck problem back pain leg pain heaviness in the thighs all these complaints can be added you have to write down this granthokt first whatever you remember from samhita you write first but then you can also add something which is more practical because i don't see any patient like killer galashaluka galashundika no 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 i have not seen but you can see the muscular problems uh, in day to day practice dushti lakshana allergy inflammation of the eyes at the age of the eye in particular allergy it can be compared little bit like a sty sty ranjanwadi in marathi then galaganda here thyroid swelling thyroiditis then gandamala that is inflammation of the glands here cervical lymphadenopathy is that glands are together then that is called as a matting of the gland and that is tubercular most of the time when cervical glands are palpable and they have joined together that is 99% it's a tubercular then upajivika an abscess observed in the epiglottis region upajivika i am very sorry my friends some terms are just uh, as they are mentioned by charak vimans khan sushruta you have to remember and write it down and forget because some things are not practically observed many times 
Some things are observed, but some things are not. Why? What we can do? Nothing. But we have to remember those things. Okay. Now, Sushrut, Vidya Lakshana, Tatra Vidyasya, Shvayathur Mausa Shoshaha, Sira Granthiyo Maranam Shio. That is first is Shvayathu swelling. This is observed. Many times you can get a swelling at different parts. That is a Mausa Vah problem. Then Mausa Shosha, this is also seen in the practice, atrophy of the muscles. Remember, atrophy of the muscles. Especially this can be happen with the neurological problem. Please write down LMN lesion, lower motor neuron lesion, like poliomyelitis. There can be your thigh can be atrophy. Its muscle mass can be reduced. That can be measured by the measuring tape. This, for example, my bicep, I have to see whether it is a big or whether it is a shrink. Then you can do it by the measuring tape. You have to measure the circumference of the muscle. In Ayurveda, it is called as Anguli Pramana. Don't forget that. Then Sira Granthi, that is nodular swelling on the blood vessels, particularly in the veins. And Marana, sometimes such a big injury because Sushrut was a surgeon. So he was thinking about accidents, road accidents. And he said when the, your musculoskeletal system is too much crushed, then sometimes it can like a shock. For example, we have the three types of muscle in the body. You know, in the, on the hands and legs, that is a skeletal muscle. Then we have the, in the heart, cardiac muscle and in intestine, that is the visceral muscles. You know these three types of the muscle. Mouse over srotas is related with all the three types. Skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, visceral muscle. Now, if my cardiac muscle is getting, here, can you see Sira Granthi? Sira Granthi, that is coronary blockage. Very interesting explanation. No teacher will give you such explanation. No single teacher. I challenge. So this Sira Granthi, I can compare with the coronary blockages. And that can damage to the cardiac muscle. The cardiac is also muscle. Mouse over srotas. And then, because of the heart attack, the patient can die. Because the, normally the students think, sir, when the muscle is get damaged, how the person can die? Maranam cha. So I think the charaka is not uh, proper. Huh? This is wrong. We have to understand what he wants to tell you. And Sushrut is specifically very, uh, he is a, I can say, incentivist. Like the boss of the incentivist. ICU, intensive care unit. Sushrut is like a master of intensive care unit. So he is always thinking about some emergencies. That is Maranam. Next. Now, next Srotas, Medova Srotas. Mulasthan, Medovahanam Srotasam, Vrukkav Mulam Vapavahanam. Medo, now this is Charak uh, Sushiruta. I think again, can I correct? Please, please, please allow me. Can I correct? Uh, please, please allow me because there is a printing mistake. Why I should keep it like that? I think, oh my God. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just few, few, give me a few, few minutes. I will omit this. This is repetition, unnecessary. This is repetition, okay? Are you getting me? Now, this is perfect. This is perfect. This Medohedve was repeatedly there. I, have, I do everything by myself, no? Professor Deshpande. Don't depend on anybody. So he is doing by hard work. So Medohedve, Tayor Muram Kativrut Kuch, I will save this file with your kind permission. Okay? Here, can you see? You can see the screen. Deshpande is transparent in his teaching. No problem. So again, I will make a PowerPoint presentation like this. Good. Okay. Okay. Uh, just wait. We, where we are? Yeah. Medova, fat, 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 adipose tissue, obesity, Medova Sutas. Okay. Obesity is a big problem. Huh? Okay. Medova Sutasam, Rukko Mulam Vapavanamcha, the sites of origin, Rukka kidney. So, fat, you know, around the kidney, there is also a collection of the fat, uh, perinephric fat, uh, omentum. So, this is a part of that Medova Sutas. And Vapavana, here I have written omentum. So, Whenever our lipid profile, this is a research question. My dear students, please write down as a research. If, for example, Medova Sutas is related with the fat, adipose tissue, cholesterol. So if any patient is having dyslipidemia, cholesterol more than 200 gram percent, I'm sorry, milligram percent, then triglyceride more than 150 milligram percent, then we have to check whether he has any kidney problem also. 
ओबेसिटी इज कॉमन बट किडनी प्रॉब्लम किडनी किडनी प्रॉब्लम क्रॉनिक रिनल फेल्यूअर द पेशेंट इज हैविंग डायलिसिस प्लीज चेक प्लीज ऑब्जर्व व्हेन यू गो टू द एनी डॉक्टर एंड हॉस्पिटल ऑलवेज सी दिस इज अ रिसर्च पॉइंट देन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओ देयर मे बी सम कोरिलेशन ऑफ द मे द एंड द रूट कॉज ओके now why this fat is fat metabolism problem this is the biggest problem today you will get a lot and lot of patient first obesity from obesity diabetes from obesity osteoarthritis from obesity ischemic heart disease from obesity heart attack are you getting so every thing from obesity erectile dysfunction sexual problems lot of problem from obesity anemic condition so obesity is a bad 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 okay avyayama diva sapnan medhyanam cha ti bakshanat medo vahini dushchanti varunash cha ti sevana this is a very interesting shlok and most practical everything is practical avyayama yes intake and output lot of intake lot of intake and sedentary lifestyle no movement business person and then the abdomen is like this Like this, why? Because eating, eating, eating. No movement, no exercise. More, no morning exercise, no evening exercise. No like this. So what will happen? All the carbohydrates and fats will accumulate in the abdomen, and what belly? Big abdomen will be there. Obesity. So we are am sedentary lifestyle. Then divas swap. Sleeping at day time very bad for the obesity, uh, because it can increase the snigdha guna property in the body. Ati medya bhakshanat. excessive consumption of food which is having made that means fatty substances high calorie food non vegetarian food especially red meat this is very bad ati seven of varuni drinks madhyapan lot of drinking of alcohol also creates a problem with med now dushti lakshana med samshreya astu prachakshmahe ninditani pramehanam puru rupani yani ch charak sutra stha He has not given the detail to you, my dear friends. You have to write down. This is homework for you. He said, when there is a problem in Medhatu, you will get Prameha Purvarupa. Please write down. Prameha Purvarupa will be there whenever there is Medho uh, problem. For example, he will suffer from Atisthaulya obesity. Prameha Purvarupa pre-monetary symptoms suggesting Prameha. pre monetary symptoms puro roop this puro roop word i remember in your rog nidan vikruti vidyan srotasa is important and another side second part ayurvedic nidana panchak very important nidana panchak this is this was also in the ashtanga hrudaya nidana panchak five ways to diagnose the disease निदान पूर्व रूप रूप उपशय संप्राप्ति दीज आर द फाइव फैक्टर्स दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट आफ्टर स्रोत सर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ निदान पंचक इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक निदान पंचक आई विल रिपीट कैन यू राइट डाउन आई विल वेट पास पास फाइव 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 निदान प्लीज राइट डाउन निदान एन आई डी एन इज इक्वल टू कॉज सी ए यू एस सी कॉज निदान पूर्व रूप पी यू आर वी ए पूर्व रूप आर डबल ओ पी ए वॉर्निंग सिग्नल्स वॉर्निंग और प्री मॉनिटरी सिम्टम्स तो निदान पूर्व रूप रूप आर यू पी ए रूपा सिम्टम्स एंड साइंस उपशय अनुपशय टुगेदर उपशय अनुपशय therapeutical test i will explain afterwards and last is a samprapti samprapti s a m p r a p t i samprapti pathogenesis pathogenesis how the disease is created samprapti together five things are called as please write down nidana n i d a n panchak p a n c h a k panchak five things okay now मेधोवसुदुश्रुत 
always the fat people excessive perspiration sweating lot of sweating is a problem with the obese person snigdhangata all the body is anxious then talu shosha this is a type of diabetic warning signal you know the there are the three p's please write down three p p capital p for parrot three p in diabetes write down three three p p p is equal to polydipsia polydipsia that is excessive drinking of water desire next poly p o l y phagia p h a g i excessive eating polyphagia and third poly p o l y urea u r i a lot of urine lot of urine day and night urine so these are the three p in diabetes mellitus madhumeha very interesting for the practice huh? very interesting you when you go to the doctors in the hospital and clinics you say this doctor will be happy with you ah you know very well three p huh? okay next so this is one of the p where excessive uh, sorry uh, talu shosha uh, excessive thirst then stool shofata swelling of the whole body edema or major body parts then pipasa excessive thirst just now i have explained now next asti vas rotas मूलस्थान अस्थिवाहना स्रोतसा मेदो मूल जघनम च अस्थि एज अ कनेक्शन विद फैट ओके द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ अस्थि व स्रोतस इज नॉट एक्सप्लेन बाय सुश्रुत रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग प्लीज दिस पॉइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट एंड नेवर फॉरगेट प्लीज राइट डाउन अस्थि व स्रोतस इज नॉट एक्सप्लेन बाय सुश्रुत चरक हैज एक्सप्लेन ऑल थर्टी But Sushrut has not explained three srutasas. I will explain you afterwards. But Astiva srutas is not mentioned by Sushrut. He said in the Kala chapter. I will explain it. I think that will be better if I go on discussing afterward. But at least in this moment, you remember Astiva srutas not in Sushrut. Okay, that means not discussion about this in the Sushrut Samvita. The site of origin of Astiva. mentioned by charak one is fat adipose tissue and another is a jaghana that is buttocks so whenever there is a problems most of the time it affects your pelvic girdle uh, even the femur head of the femur is problematic then there is a very important disease about the bone that is uh, uh, you may be heard about a vascular necrosis a v n capital a v and n a v n a vascular necrosis of the head of the femur so that is also a part of the buttocks even uh, we may in the ladies uh, during the process of delivery short stature women they have the small pelvic and that can be the problem for normal delivery so many times pelvimetry is done and do you understand pelvimetry metry means measurement of that pelvic girdle so pelvic girdle and also you know that that is the base of your vertebral column whole vertebral column is supported by the pelvic girdle that is asthi vas rotas are you getting my point okay next we will go further why this is disturbed dushti hetu vyayama ati sanshobhat asnyam ati vighatnat asthi vahini dushanti vatalanam cha sevanat let us see the meaning vyayama not normal normal not normal excessive exercise means beyond your capacity beyond your capacity of prakriti beyond your capacity of the age factor beyond your capacity of bal vyadhi kshamatva immunity you are having some dreadful diseases and you are doing the lot of and lot of exercise that is not good ayurveda says you must do अर्ध शक्ति व्यायाम राइट डाउन अर्ध शक्ति व्यायाम बट इफ यू गो बियॉन्ड दैट एंड ऑल द टाइम दैट कैन डी जेनरेट डी जेनरेशन ऑफ युअर बोनी टिश्यू डी जेनरेशन ऑफ युअर ऑशियस टिश्यू रिमेम्बर एडिक्वेट एक्सरसाइज इज ओके बट बियॉन्ड लिमिट दैट इज अ डेंजरस ओके देन अति संक्षोभ संक्षो इरिटेशन Majors which are responsible for irritation in the body, such as the lifting the heavy weight, 
that can problem with the vertebral column and back and all these things. Okay, because this can disturb your vat dosha. As I have mentioned, the relation of pitta and rakta. Are you remembering pitta and rakta? What is the relation? Ashraya ashray samand. Ashraya ashrayi. Rakta is ashraya. Shelter, shelter. Pitta dosha is ashrayi. Why I? Ashrayi. Here, asthi and vata. Asthi and vata, ashray ashray. Asthi, asthi, bone, osseous tissue. Ashraya. Ashraya asthi. Vata dosh, ashrayi. Vata dosh, ashrayi. Are you getting the difference? Ashray and ashray. So, ashray is like a, who is taking that. That means like energy and matter. Energy and matter. Dhatus are always matter. And Vata, Pitta, Kapha are like a bio energies. Energies are showing their actions, their functions with the medium of Dhatu. Medium, media, M-E-D-I, media of the Dhatu. So this is very important. Kapha, sir, you have not told about uh, Kapha. Kapha dosha. Ashraya, Rasa Dhatu is Ashraya, Mausa Dhatu Ashraya, Medh Dhatu Ashraya, Majja Dhatu Ashraya, Shukra Dhatu Ashraya, lot of Ashraya for Kapha Dosha. Lot of Ashraya. Again, I will repeat, for Kapha Dosha, Rasa is Ashraya. Rakta no, no, Rakta is Pitta. Mausa is Ashraya, Medh is Ashraya, Asthi is, no, 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 Asthi is for what? <laughs> Majja is Ashray for Kaf, Shukra is Ashray for Kaf. I think this is very clear to you now. Okay. Now, one important thing regarding Ashray Ashray. If Ashray E is increased, Ashray is also increased. Vriddhi, Vriddhi. For example, Pitta Vriddhi, Rakta Vriddhi. Kaf Vriddhi, Mausa Vriddhi. Are you getting my point? This law, this law, when ashraya is increased, ashrayi also, in, sorry, ashrayi is increased, ashrayi is also disturbed. But in asthi and vata, asthi and vata, this is exception. They are not directly proportional. Asthi and vata relation, asthi and vata relation is not directly proportional. Sir, I have not understood. Simple. Simple. I, what I say, kapha increase, may the will increase. That means kapha, a lot of sweets, lot of sweets, sedentary lifestyle, kapha increase, may the, may the vruddhi, may the vruddhi. If I eat a spa, spicy food working in the sun, pitta prakopa, rakta problem, rakta vruddhi will be there. Pitta vruddhi, rakta vruddhi, pitta vruddhi, rakta vruddhi. Now for what? I am making the action. Vata vruddhi asthikshaya. Vata vruddhi asthikshaya. Vata vruddhi asthikshaya. That is inversely proportional. This is the most important from Ayurveda. Relation of vata and asthi is opposite. Whenever there is vata vruddhi, most of the time we, we make a lot of running and lot of exercise. Bhagdod bolte na mara Hindi mein bhagdod. Abhi Marathi mantare kai dhava dhava chal liye tuji. Physical and mental stress. That can damage your bone. Vata vruddhi will be there. But asthi dhatu will be weak. Osteoporosis will be there. Osteoarthritis will be there. Whenever there is a vata vruddhi. I think this ashray ashray sambandha is very clear to you. I hope this is very clear. Now, so this is atikshoba vata will disturb. Now, asthi ati vigattanath. Excessive friction between the bones. This is occurring due to the friction between the bones having the degenerative changes in the joint surface. Kledaka kapha is in the joint, bony joint. As the age is more, after 50 years, after 60 years, after 70 years, senior citizen, your father, your grandfather, there is a degeneration. That is asti vigattanath. And then friction is there and crepitus, sound, 
when the movement of the knee joint, sitting, standing, walking, cut, 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 tuck, 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 tuck. This particular sound, sound, S-O-U-N-D, during the movement of the joint, during the movement of the joint is called, especially osteoarthritis. That sound is called crepitus. C-R-E-P-I-T-U-S. Crepitus. Don't forget that word. Crepitus. Huh? So that is asthi. Play the cuff is damaged and vata prakup is there. Vatal sevana. Exposure of the food and the lifestyle which increases the vata in the body. For example, consumption of bitter pungent substances. This is having the inverse relation asthi and vata. I have explained you. Okay. This means there will be vitiation of those and decrease in the vata increase, asthi will down. Osteoporosis, osteopenia, vata vruddhi. Huh? Late going to the bed at 12 midnight, after midnight going to the bed, increase vata. And there will be problem with the asthi dasa. Remember. So whenever the patients will come to you in the clinic, in the hospitals, remember my words. What are the words that Dr. Deshpande has told that Take a proper history. Which substances he is eating? Warm food, freshly cooked food, or always fast food he is eating. Take his the routine style, whether it is a regular timetable or haphazardly he is doing all the things. Whether he is having any mental stress, whether he is doing excessive exercises or vaya. Huh? Physical and mental stress is there. Lot of driving, lot of driving, lot of airplane. Tourism, foreign country visit. Every day he is moving in the Bombay. Too much fast life. Too much fast life. That can increase the Vata Dosha. Remember my words. And that the people suffer from the cervical spondylosis, lumbar spondylosis, backache, joint pain, knee joint pain, knee joint replacement. So why? Vata Vruddhi is there. And that joint has been damaged. Asti Vasutas has been damaged. Okay. So now the Lakshana, last point. Adhyasti dantau dantasti veda shulam vivarnata kesha loma nakasmashru doshascha asti pradosha jaha jarak sutrasthan. All the pradosha javyadhi of the dhatu are mentioned in, not in vimansthan, but in sutrasthan. Adhyasti, excessive growth of the bone. Even excessive teeth, that is a problem of bones. Osseous or the bony. Uh, what again? The calcium metabolism problem is there. Ami manto Marathi madhe tachets hard wadle. Calcaneal spur in your feet. Calcaneal bone is little bit increased. That is adjusti. Then adidant, just now overcrowded teeth. Then dant shul. Because dant and kesh are the upadhatu of astidhatu. So when astidhatu is problematic, they, it will affect to the, your teeth. It will also affect to your hair. Remember these things. Okay. So whenever you the patient comes to you for hair fall problem or caries in the teeth or pain in the teeth, always see whether he has a problem with the dhatu and that is coming from the vata dosha. So can you understand how the track should go? A connection with the vata dosha. Danta shula, asti shula, pain in the bones. When the patient take a little bit more walk, he has always a leg pain. Especially ladies, they complain or old people. Doctor, I, mean, I don't have the energy because I am a little walk and then my leg starts paining. That may be because of the asthi problem. You can do vitamin. In the blood test, you can do blood test. Vitamin D, calcium level, you can check. Or there is an instrument also, bone densiometer. You can check the bone density of that patient. And more of the patient is have suffering from the low bone density. In Ayurveda, we always advise to take the minimum one cup of milk morning and evening. Two times is better, but you can add two or three things. One, sometimes you can take with Shatavari Kalp, sugar granules of the Shatavari, very best, natural calcium. And you can, sometimes you can take with the Natsani Cheer, porridge from the Natsani. Natsani is very good with iron, calcium and all these things. So, and also the best treatment for Vata, you never forget Snehana and Svedana. Always application to the cervical region, back region, warm oil, warm oil, 
നാരായണ തൈല് തിലത്തൈല് കൊക്കോനട്ട് ഓയില് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഫോമെന്റേഷൻ നാടി സ്വേദ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ്സ് യു ക്യാൻ ഡു ഫോർ ദ റുമാറ്റോളജി ഫോർ ദ സ്കെലറ്റോ മസൽ സ്കെലറ്റോ മസ്കുലോ സ്കെലറ്റൽ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഐ എം സോറി ദെൻ ദന്ത ഭേദ് വെരി ടിയറിംഗ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദ പെയിൻ ഇൻ ദ ടിത്ത് ലോസ് ഓഫ് ഇനാമൽ വിൽ ബി ദെയർ കവറിംഗ് വിൽ ബി ലോസ് ഇനാമൽ ഇസ് എ കവറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ സെൻസിറ്റീവ് ടിത്ത് ഹൈപ്പർ സെൻസിറ്റീവ് ടിത്ത് you have seen the advertisement sensodyne toothpaste but better when there is hypersensitive teeth simple home remedy i will tell you warm sesame oil gargling you have to take the sesame oil after 5 minutes you throw it away sesame oil warm little bit warm not burning here huh? that is the best treatment for hypersensitive teeth because of that is because of the vata prakopa and vata prakopa is controlled by ccm oil gargling i hope this is very clear to you then vivarnata discoloration may be there asti bhed tearing type of the pain in the bones then clay kesha loma what is the difference in kesha kesha is a scalp hair and loma is a body hair loma uh, loma nakh this is also the upadhatu of asti smashru smashru dosha defects of scalp hair body hair nails and beard so my dear friend i think this is the uh, we will check the time but mostly it is only one minute has remained but i think you have understood that there are 13 important srotasas and kha vaigunya is very important kha vaigunya means problem in the srotasa i uh, charaka vimanasthan they have given the sroto vimani adhyay the name of the adhyay chapter sroto vimani Vim what is viman sir what is viman viman vishesha gnana vishesha gnana a very specific knowledge about the different concepts that whole sthana that whole section is called as a vimana sthana that vimana sthana has nothing to do with your aeroplane no because some students even don't know what is sir vimana they they say no sir te tukaram ache viman hota te amcha ayurveda sudha tevha pasun aeronautics paddal che there is a references of aeronautics nothing nothing here vimana sthana is a specific knowledge specialization knowledge about the srotas and all of especially prakriti vichara prakriti lakshana sarata lakshana examination points of view viman sthan is excellent important for your practice one is sutra sthan second is viman sthan according to me and last is the chikitsa sthan these three sthanas of charak are the best for your practice charak as to chikitsa so my dear friends thank you very much for your nice cooperation see you not tomorrow day after tomorrow that is on wednesday regarding 7 to 8 about the balaroga kaumar bhrutya tantra thank you very much and take care good night